Y'all, I got some good revelation, right? So I was talking to the Lord. Like, he was, uh, not he, but I was somewhere and they were talking about, like, they mentioned, like, how Jesus hung out with sinners, right? And as they were saying that, I'm like, no, everywhere Jesus went where sinners were, it was always a appointment. Like, it was a divine appointment. Like, he was on assignment. Like, you don't see him going places and he's just sitting there hanging with the sinners, right? He was always on an assignment anytime he went anywhere it was to do something for the people whether it was to heal them or like when you talk about him going to the wedding turning water into wine right performing miracles stir up the beliefs of people right he was always on an assignment like jesus is attached to assignment everything he does is an assignment everything he does is with purpose and intent and intention he's not just going to hang and waste his day he literally knows his mission and he's going to accomplish it and so what the lord has said to me which i was like oh my goodness god that's so good was that even when jesus picked out his 12 disciples right and they were sinning every time when he was calling them out and choosing them they knew he was the messiah right when we talk about even peter after you know the boat incident where god was like well jesus was like you know throw your net on this side and then he catches all these fishes and you know it stirred up something in peter you know and on top of that he was like oh my gosh like you are the christ right and so you know he's like i'm not worthy like when listen listen oh jesus help me listen you guys so when jesus picked his 12 disciples they changed they changed they recognized their sins and they changed they were transformed they were becoming better right they jesus was not just hanging with these people he was on assignment to make disciples out of them so that when he goes to heaven to be at the right hand of god they would carry on his legacy oh that is so good right <laughs> that's so good that's so good oh mm, that is so good so he literally again was on an assignment jesus don't waste time jesus has a mission right even when he was going and he had a mission to go somewhere else but on that on that mission he went to go see the samaritan samaritan woman right everything was strategic and planned jesus is not just sitting here hanging out with sinners right and the thing is is let's be honest you know light has no fellowship with darkness and if you are not a hundred percent rooted in the lord rooted in the lord and you are over here constantly hanging out with these people who don't want to change who enjoy living in their sin the bible says bad morals corrupt good character there's an influencer here and if you are constantly hanging out with people who god is telling you to remove yourself from right then you need to remove yourself from them you cannot just hang out with sinners because somebody is doing the influencing somebody is doing the influencing and it may not always be you and all the devil needs is just a crack in the door just a foothold he just needs an entry point and then little by little you start converting back to your old ways little by little you start doing the wrong thing little by little you start going astray if you are not firmly anchored into the lord if you are not firmly anchored into the lord and you're just hanging with sinners to just be hanging with them and god did not send you on an assignment there it is very very dangerous you don't have the grace for it nor the anointing for it and then slowly you will find yourself reverting back to your old ways right because if and then if you start doing things that you used to do you're no longer influencing the person or freeing the person you're not no longer doing the mission jesus told us to do right freeing the captives like we get delivered to go help deliver those who are in what we were but it's not just hanging with them right it's an um, it's an assignment it's a mission we don't just hang to be hanging not what we do 
and so anyway that was the revelation jesus like the lord gave me was like yeah and they changed even when jesus was hanging with his disciples that were sinners right they changed it provoked them to change right they wanted to grow and they changed they were becoming better and changing they weren't remaining the same they literally were like you know uh god help me the scales fell off of their eyes and they saw someone whom they've been waiting for whom their soul has been waiting for right and jesus delivered them and he trained them and he taught them and he loved them and he rebuked them right what he did and so i just wanted to share that because i was like oh my goodness god that is so good that's so good i was like because people just be thinking you'll be hanging with sinners and that's not what you're doing the bible it literally says like he'll be like get away from me right like he has no fellowship with darkness and that's why he says repent right and come back to me right and he says get from among them and so, yeah, when you start hanging with sinners, you become lukewarm, right? Now, people who were in, once inspired by you and you've changed your life and you're doing all these things, now they see you hanging with the sinners and you're not changing them. You're not bettering them. Nothing is happening. You're just hanging with them. God no longer gets the glory, but now people start to mock the God you serve, right? People start to say, oh, God really can't, like, heal people and deliver people. God really can't do this because they're over there doing this, and they're still preaching that God is God, and God did all this, but you out here still living a double life? Not how it works, you guys. God says, be holy as I am holy. There's a standard <laughs> to his family. <laughs> there is a standard to his family. All right, that is all. I'm out. Bye.